This is Voice of Korea. 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 We begin the English language transmission from Pyongyang, the capital of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Here is a mixed chorus, Song of General Kim Il Sung.
Winner Prince No. 1, Chorus, Song of General Kim Chung Il. Respected Marshal Kim Jong-un, first secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, first chairman of the National Defense Commission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and supreme commander of the Korean People's Army, inspected the Changje Island Defense Detachment and the Mu Island Hero Defense Detachment, which have been wonderfully built up according to the demand of the Sun era. He was accompanied by Cha ryong hae and other senior officials of the party and army. He exchanged warm greetings with cheering servicemen and their families, shaking hands with them. Kim Jong-un first inspected the Changje Island Defense Detachment. After receiving a salute from the commander of the Defense Detachment, respected Supreme Commander Kim Jong-un asked him if he likes the rebuilt Changje Island Defense Detachment. He beamed all over his face, hearing the report of the commander say the detachment is so wonderful that he does not know how to express it. Kindly stroking the cheeks of children on the island, he said the children at the Changje Island Defense Detachment and the Mu Island Hero Defense Detachment are witnesses of the Sungun Revolution who have grown up hearing the gun report of national defense and called for bringing them up well. He called Chung Hang Myung and warmly hugged him. He said with delight that the child had celebrated his first birthday in March last, and he has grown quite a lot. Looking round the barracks, dwelling houses and positions newly built in place of the former buildings, Marshal Kim Jong-un acquainted himself in detail with the construction and the fortification of the defense detachment, and expressed great satisfaction. He highly appreciated that the education room, a center of political and ideological education, has been built well to shoot the sentiments and feelings of the servicemen, and the fixtures installed in a complete set made well. He had a photo taken with each family of servicemen of the Changje Island Defense Detachment against a new house where they would live. 
Respected Supreme Commander Kim Jong-un heard with smile the solar and monodrama of Song Hyun-hee, daughter of the commander of the detachment, representing her gratitude, and clapped his hands. He said the old barracks and residential district of the Changje Island Defense Detachment have been completely removed, and the new island post and beautiful island village of the Sungun era appeared, and Changje Island has been changed beyond recognition. As a result, another desire of the great generalismos Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il has come true, who were concerned to make the servicemen and their families living on the island better off than others. Herein lies the purpose of our revolution, he added. He pointed out the need to plant trees and ground the covers suited to the climatic and soil conditions of Changje Island and turn the island into a green forest. Mounting the observation post, Kim Jong-un heard a specific report on the objects of the defense unit of the Yunpyeong Island and recent enemy situation. He expressed satisfaction that the observation post and fire positions have been turned into an impregnable fortress and put forward tasks and ways to strengthen combat preparations and fighting efficiency of the defense detachment. He had a picture taken with the servicemen of the Changzi Island Defense Detachment and their families. Supreme Commander Kim Jong-un also inspected the Mu Island Hero Defense Detachment. Looking at the full view of the island post, he said with great satisfaction that the Mu Island Hero Defense Detachment has also been changed beyond recognition. He warmly waved back to the servicemen and their families at the island post, raising cheers of fra in a choked voice, and conversed with them. Hugging Zhang Po Song, the son of the daughter of Cho Zhong Ho, surgeon of the defense detachment, he wished him a happy future. Going round the new barracks, dwelling houses and positions of the Mu Island Hero Defense Detachment built like those of the Changze Island Defense Detachment, Kim Jong-un familiarized himself in detail with the construction and fortification, and highly estimated that the builders have really done construction qualitatively. He got familiar with the use of a wind-driven generator and stressed the need to operate it properly. He said the Mu Island Hero Defense Detachment should also plant a lot of trees standing the sea wind well to clearly passion the barracks and the residential district and turn the island into green ooze. Going round the Mudo Kindergarten for six children and the Mudo Brand School of the Sunwi Senior Secondary School where four children are studying, respected Supreme Commander Kim Jong-un noted that as he said, looking round the kindergarten for three children at the Changze Island Defense Detachment, such a kindergarten and school are a cradle, the first of its kind in the world, which can be built only under our socialist system. He said the Mu Island Hero Defense Detachment too has really been built excellently like the Changze Island Defense Detachment and gave thanks of the Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army to those institutions which have made an active contribution to the building of the island defense detachments. Making rounds of the observation post and fire positions, he advanced the tasks to strengthen the combat preparations and fighting efficiency of the Mu Island Hero Defense Detachment. That day, Marshal Kim Jong-un appreciated an art performance of servicemen of the Mu Island Hero Defense Detachment and congratulated them on their successful performance. He had a picture taken with the servicemen and their families at the defense detachment. Seeing the servicemen and their families of the Changze Island Defense Detachment and the Mu Island Hero Defense Detachment jumping into the sea water to see him off, respected Supreme Commander Kim Jong-un disembarked the ship and boarded it again after seeing all of them come out of the water. Respected Marshal Kim Sung, first Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, first Chairman of the National Defense Commission of the TPRK, and Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army, gave field guidance to the Agok Stone Factory. He was accompanied by Cha Ryong Hae and other senior officials of the party and army. Marshal Kim Sung looked around different places of the factory and learned in detail about production of stone pieces and management activities. 
At the room dedicated to the history of the factory, he recalled with deep emotion the day when he visited the factory together with the fatherly Kim Chung il He said in the past the factory produced and supplied large quantities of various kinds of high-grade stone pieces and made a great contribution to the building of wonderful grand monumental edifices of the Sungun era and highly appreciated the patriotic devotion and feats of the officials and employees of the factory in their work. Making the rounds of different processing workshops, respected Marshal Kim Tsung un acquainted himself in detail with the stone processing and the operation and technical specifications of the equipment and expressed great satisfaction. He said the factory gave him confidence and the sound of full capacity operation of the factory hardened his resolve to open more vigorously the great heyday of construction for the prosperity of the country and the welfare of the people. Respected Marshal Kim Chung un visited the Aguk Stone Exhibition Hall in the compound of the factory. He attentively looked at the samples of different kinds of stones and processed stone pieces on display there. Watching various stoneworks and stone fixtures, he said they make anything with stones as with wood. He said the exhibition hall looks like a stone palace rather than a stone piece exhibition hall and that the egg of stone factory is a treasure factory, a factory a mere site of which satisfies people. Marshal Kim Chung un noted that the egg of stone factory takes a very important position in developing the building materials industry of the country and increasing the proportion of home-made building materials. He stressed that the officials and employees of the factory should contribute to accomplishing the cross of building a prosperous nation and serve the party with stone production and presented the tasks to be carried out by the factory. Respected Marshal Kim Tsung un expressed the belief that the officials and employees of the Aguk Stone Factory would wonderfully carry out their revolutionary tasks through to the intention of the party. Respected Supreme Commander Marshal Kim Jong un sent fishing boats to the Korean People's Army Unit led by Park Yong un A meeting of delivering the boats was held on Monday. Present at the meeting were general officers of the Korean People's Army, service personnel of the unit, and officials and employees of its fishing station. At the meeting, the gifts sent by respected Supreme Commander Kim Jong un were conveyed amid enthusiastic applause of the participants. A letter of pledge to Marshal Kim Jong un was adopted at the meeting. Respected Kim Jong un received a gift from the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade of Brunei Darussalam. Minister Mohammed Paul Kiahu handed a gift to Kim Yong nam president of the Presidium of the Shopping People's Assembly of the DPRK, on Monday with a request to convey it to Kim Jong un the Korean Friendship Association in Spain on August 26th posted on its internet home page respected Kim Jong-un's talk. Let us add eternal brilliance to comrade Kim Jong-il's great idea and achievements of the Sungun Revolution, dedicated to the organ of Workers' Party of Korea Rodong Shinmun and the organ of the Korean People's Army Choson in Mingun on the occasion of the Day of Sungun. Readers were laid before the tomb of the ardent patriot Kim Bo Hyun in Mangyongde, Pyongyang on Monday on the occasion of the 58th anniversary of his demise. Seen before his tomb was a wreath sent by respected Kim Chung, first secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, first chairman of the National Defense Commission of the DPRK, and shipping commander of the Korean People's Army. Guards of honor of the Korean People's Army were standing before the tomb. Participating in the wrestling ceremony were senior officials of the party and state, chairperson of a friendly party, officials of the party and government organs, working people's organizations, ministries, national agencies and institutions of education and the press, and working people in Pyongyang. A wreath was laid before the tomb in the name of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea. Also laid there were readers in the name of working people's organizations, ministries, national agencies, revolutionary schools, institutions of education and the press, as well as the party and government organs, farms and others in Pyongyang. The participants observed a moment of silence looking back upon the noble life of Kim Bo Hyun. Kim Yong nam president of the Presidium of the Supreme People's Assembly of the DPRK, met and had a talk with Mohammed Porkiahu, 
Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Purune Darussalam, and his party that paid a courteous call on him at the Mansudi Assembly Hall in Pyongyang on the 2nd. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade asked Kim Yong-nam to convey the greetings of esteemed His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan al polki Ahu to respect to Kim Jong-un. He said during his stay, he witnessed the unity of the Korean people and expressed the belief that the friendly and cooperative relations between the two countries would further expand and develop. Respected Marshal Kim Jong-un sent a feast table to Kim chi sun in Samungdong to Mangyongde district, Pyongyang of Korea, on the occasion of her centenary birthday. The birthday table was conveyed to her on September the 1st. Women's Premier Soccer Group League matches for celebrating the 65th anniversary of the DPRK get fiercer day by day. At the matches held on September the 2nd, the Myohyangsan team defeated the Hwangryongsan team 5 to 0, and the Kalmegi team and the Ponghwasan team drew 0 to 0. The matches go on. The first meeting of the North-South Joint Committee of the Kaesong Industrial Zone was held in the zone on the 2nd. At the meeting, the two sides, according to the agreement on formation and management of the North-South Joint Committee of the Kaesong Industrial Zone, discussed and confirmed the formation of the Joint Committee and Subcommittees, as well as their function and role and the steering ways and methods, and agreed on activating the subcommittees to have working-level discussions. The North and the South reached an agreement on holding the second meeting of the Joint Committee on September the 10th and continuing to discuss the work of the subcommittees and issues arising in the management of the zone. 2013 Asian Cup and Club Weightlifting Championship for Youth and Adult Categories will be held in Pyongyang, the capital of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, from September the 11th to the 17th. Divided into youth and adult categories, the championship will bring together more than 200 players of over 10 countries and regions, including the DPRK, China, Kuwait and Thailand. DPRK Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenty Potentiary, Jung Yung Chul, presented his credentials to John Dramani Mahama, President of the Republic of Ghana, on August 27th. The ambassador conveyed a greetings of respected Kim Jong-un to President Mahama. The Ghanaian president expressed deep thanks for it and requested the ambassador to convey his warm greetings to Kim Jong-un as well as the best wishes for his good health and greater success in his noble work for leading the building of a thriving nation. He said the Ghanaian people keep deep in their hearts President Kim Il-sung and leader Kim Jong-il who rendered material and spiritual assistance to Ghana and other African countries in their construction of a new society. Very bright is the future of the Korean people under the guidance of the shipping leader Kim Jong-un, he said and expressed support to the Korean government in its efforts to provide peaceful circumstances for the building of an economic giant. He hoped that Korea, with a huge potentiality of development, would achieve peaceful reunification of the country with the efforts of the Korean people themselves without foreign interference. He said it is an invariable stance of the government and people of Ghana to expand and develop friendly and cooperative relations with Korea. He expressed a will to make positive efforts to develop the friendly and cooperative relations between the two countries onto a new high stage. The Koreans in the United States held a rally in Los Angeles on August 29th, denouncing the South Korean intelligence service for its interference in the election. According to the South Korean internet newspaper, Tongil News, intellectuals from different countries and regions of the world held an international seminar in Seoul on August 28th and made a public declaration demanding establishment of peace mechanism on the Korean peninsula. A candlelight rally took place at the plaza of the Seoul Railway Station on August 31st under the sponsorship of the Emergency Council against the Intelligence Services politicking and interference in presidential election. Present there were more than 20,000 people of various circles, including members of civic and public organizations and personages of opposition parties. 
Students of Tsunbung National University of South Korea issued a declaration on the situation on August 30th, denouncing the public security authorities for their moves to understate and conceal the intelligence service's illegal interference in the election and investigation of the case. University teachers belonging to the trade union of part-time professors of South Korea held a meeting in Seoul on August 29th denouncing the government for its policy of discrimination. The Brazilian newspaper Ora do Povo recently carried the travel log of the TPIK contributed by Marcia de Campos Pereira, president of the Women's International Democratic Federation. The article dealt with the celebrations of the 60th anniversary of the Korean people's victory in the Great Fatherland Liberation War grandly held in the presence of respected Kim Jong un the article said the DPRK, once reduced to a debris by the war, made an eye-opening development in many fields. It added that the international community expresses solidarity to the Korean people in their efforts against the U.S. imperialist threat of nuclear war and for reunification of the country. And that's the end of the news read by Choi Sung Nam and Lee Hyang Sim. This is Voice of Korea. You'll enjoy your female sextet. Our leader Kim Jong Un loved by the people. This time, you will appreciate the song 40 Million People Sing of the Leader created in Suche 56 or 1967.
Here is me, Carlos. Do prosper, my motherland.
Now you enjoy your female soul and female pangchang. Our socialism is best in the world. Appreciate female soul and mixed bang chang. Our style is good. Hey. <laughs> 
no bring your female solo, the motherland and I. Strong protest against intelligence service. In August 2, 
South Korean People of Broader Section strongly denounced the intelligence service for its interference in the election. The Emergency Council Against the Intelligence Service's Politicking and Interference in Presidential Election, consisting of more than 200 civic and public organizations, the students' organization headquarters of the movement for invalidity of 18th presidential election and dismissal of President Park Geun-hye, the Unified Progressive Party, the Solidarity Against Discrimination of the Handicapped and other organizations and opposition parties in South Korea held press conferences. They warned that if the chief executive evades the responsibility for the intelligence services interference in the election and the government attempts to cover up the recent case and its act to destroy democracy, they will face a greater resistance of the people and called upon the people of broader sections to start an emergency action and turn out in a larger scale candlelight struggle. All people 100,000 odd strong candlelight rallies were held in Seoul, Busan, Daejeon, Daegu and Ulsan, involving people from all walks of life, including representatives of civic and public organizations, opposition assemblymen and youth and students. The candlelight holding participants criticized that the probe into the truth behind the case of the intelligence service is faced with catastrophe due to the Sanri party and called for prolonging the term of the parliamentary investigation to expose the crimes of the intelligence service. Students of nine universities, including Busan National University and Seoul National University, held meetings and staged demonstrations, chanting, We condemn Sanri Party, and rally 100,000 candlelights. The Federation of University Students held a meeting concerning the formation of a Grand Marches group for reunification around the U.S. Embassy. Saying the rulers are hindering the parliamentary investigation for probe into the truth behind the intelligence services interference in the election, the Federation declared that the Grand Marches group would vigorously conduct an all-people signature-seeking campaign and the movement for peace. The Grand Marches group held a rally before the Gwangju city office of the Sanri party and waged a candlelight struggle. People of all strata continue to make public declarations on situation. More than 110 professors of the Kyunghee University issued a declaration on situation and staged a demonstration chanting, Make clear the truth about the intelligence services interference in the election. In its declaration on situation, the Gwangju South Jeolla Provincial Peasant Solidarity said the media keep silence as they did during the Yushin dictatorship, though the large-scale candlelight struggle of the people is expanded across South Korea. The Solidarity described the acts of the Sanri party and the authorities are crimes of obliterating democracy of the society and called for reforming the intelligence service to the root. The religious men belonging to the Joint Major Committee of the Christians against the intelligence services interference in the election held a prayer meeting denouncing the crimes of the Sanri party. The South Korean newspaper Han Yore in its editorial criticized that the police authorities shot high-pressure water jets mixed with tear liquid at the demonstrators against the intelligence services interference in the election and walked them off. At the candlelight rally held on the 23rd of August, the participants said the present chief executive should introduce a special prosecution system for a thorough probe into the truth behind the illegal acts of the intelligence service and added that the people from all walks of life would conduct one million signature-seeking campaign for it. After a press conference held at the Gwanghwamun Square in Seoul on the 26th, the Emergency Council Against the Intelligence Services Politicking and Interference in Presidential Election, distributing handouts around the square, conducted active signature-seeking campaign for special prosecution. They said they would collect signatures from many people until September 19th and tender them to the National Assembly. The daily increasing mass struggle to judge the intelligence service shows the stand of the South Korean people to clarify the truth behind the service's interference in the presidential election. You've been listening to an account under the title, Strong Protests Against Intelligence Service.
This is Voice of Korea. Dear listeners, with this we conclude the English language service of Voice of Korea from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Voice of Korea presents its English language service for Europe between 13 and 14 hours UTC, between 15 and 16 hours UTC, between 18 and 19 hours UTC, and between 21 and 22 hours UTC on 13,760 kHz and 15,245 kilohertz. For North America, between 13 and 14 hours UTC and between 15 and 16 hours UTC on 9,435 kHz and 11,710 kilohertz. And for Northeast Asia, between 4 and 5 hours UTC and between 6 and 7 hours UTC on 7,220 kHz, 9,445 kHz, and 9,730 kHz. Goodbye, this is Pyongyang.